So we're extremely zoomed in on me so that I don't spoil anything. Last video, someone was kind enough to donate me two bonds while I was running around the game, so I said I'd give them away to you guys in the comments, and these are the two winners on screen now, so congratulations to you guys. If you guys want to get in contact with me, uh, join the CC Small EXP Lamp, and even if you didn't win, you can still join. But... Let's get into the video. How's everyone doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, coming at you with episode number 18 of Free to Play 2 Main, where I started with a free to play count that was fresh off Tutorial Island, and now I am combat level 91, and I'm able to make money in members' worlds and pay for bonds and fully sustain myself. So, uh, speaking of sustaining, I'm catching some fish right now and trying to train my agility a little bit. I got my fishing up a couple levels since the last video, and the agility is 50, closing in on 51. I might go on out to the wilderness to do a little bit of agility, see how I like it there. I don't know how far I'll go necessarily, but I have a lot of quests I want to do, so that's 67. But yeah, gonna get going out of here. My bank at the moment is about 14.4 mil, so it's been a low lately. The highest I was at was about 24, but I spent a lot of money, so definitely looking to get my cash stack up a little bit too, and uh, speaking of Barbarian Assault, we might have to check that out at some point. I need a torso, I need Barrow's Gloves, so those are the two main focal points right now so i've been doing some wines because they were i mean they're they're not all that expensive and it's a fast way to go about getting my cooking up which i want to get some more levels where i can so 70 cooking can now cook admiral pies and i'm going to keep going i bought about 4k of these which should get me i mean another 500k cooking xp or so move me on closer to 75 then i'll probably be done with this i'll I'll mix in some questing here soon. I did get up to 53 agility at the wilderness course, and then I was just kind of, well, I was out of food and partially bored, so I left. Right now, it is currently Sunday at about 4.30 in the afternoon. The Super Bowl is going to be on here in a couple hours, and I plan on going back home for that, so I'm going to go on over there, have myself a little party, do some runescape in there, but I got up to 74 cooking. I really can't get to 75. I have to leave now, so, I, you know, I wanted to. I can't. I'll get it back home, and then I'm not exactly sure what I want to go with next. I know quests are on the List, but that's going to be a hard sell during the Super Bowl, so we'll kind of see where uh, where the day takes me. All right, hanging out we got ourselves now. 77 range, just kind of chilling, hoping that uh, these guys don't PK me. Doing some rev hunting. I recently kind of filled back up my blowpipe, so I have about 1.4 to 1.5 million overall uh, supplies in there. 3k darts, 4k scales. Gonna see what all I can do out here. I mean, getting up my range is very beneficial, I think, on this low level because range is pretty vital in uh, a lot of PVMing metas. And in addition to that, I really do like the uh, wilderness bosses that you can kind of AFK and camp at and get money. And those you need like 80 to 85 range, so I'm kind of aiming in that area. When I got out here the other day, I died a lot. It was a weekend so I kind of chalked it up to that since then I haven't died a ton and I've really started to kind of make money out here uh, I typically bank whenever I have like three or four hundred K on my main I'd usually do it when I had like eight or nine but that's because I get kills a lot quicker and also at this combat range at 91 I can get attacked by almost anyone I see out here so it's really rough so if I get a decent bit of cash I just have to get out see what I can do Definitely didn't have that plan, but uh, 75 hit points as well works out for me 91.8 combat and uh, moving up I, almost, I tried to log out instead of ending the clip. So I'm going to hang up the blowpipe for a little bit. My bank is up to close to 14 mil. Now, in addition to that, I have like another 700k in darts and scales in the blowpipe itself. And recently, it also took away the GE value of the Marks of Grace. So... A while back, basically, it told me I had about a mil worth of Marks of Grace because you can turn them in for money, essentially, but I'm not going to do that. So I have really made another mil, but, you know, no one's seen it except me. So closer to 14.5, I think now I'm going to go ahead and start to quest. It's been something I needed to do for a while, and I'm just going to go down the list probably and just do every quest that I see that I know uh, is going to be a necessity. So let's... Go! Completion of the Tears of Guthix quest. A real quick one that I was able to get out of the way. I started it at one point, but did not finish it. I'm not entirely sure as to why that is, but it is currently the case. So, gonna go on in now. Basically, this is a weekly mini game that you unlock then after completing this quest that gives you XP in your lowest skill. All of these walls basically have tiers running down them that you have to collect from. At the time of recording, they all now have like a set time period that they're there for. They used to just be random and they would bounce around so much. The XP scales to level and the time that you can stay in here scales to quests that you have completed. 83 tiers, not bad, and probably a couple levels come in in a random skill because I cannot remember. 
remember. 14 farming. I can now grow Marantils. Hey, that's not bad. I got from 9 to 14 with that. I also plan on getting some farming with the Fairy Tale Part 1. Death to the Dorgishin completed. We are now up to 140 quest points. Oop. And I also get a thieving level as well. Really getting up there with the total level and uh, happy to have those quest points as well. Another quest completed as my fans cheer me on. Look at them all. I know, I know, I'm pretty good. 141 quest points, and that is even more of the Lumbridge quest line completed. Big Chompy Bird Hunting quest is now completed. Two more quest points. Some straight cooking and range XP, and that is a prerequisite for the Recipe for Disaster quest. So good to have that one out of the way. We'll see Rance here again soon. Since I have Marks of Grace, I may as well use them. There's no point in waiting till I can get the full set to use them. If I can save myself a little bit of weight now, why not? I can get a cape that lowers my weight through Hunter once I get 40. And in addition to that, I should be able to get Boots of Lightness at some point. So I'm going to go with Graceful Gloves and the Hood. This will allow me to spend uh, as many as I can in regards to the Marks of Grace and not get anything that I'm already going to double up on. So got those. I mean, it's not a big purchase, but I'm going to be out in the wilderness till 60. So I don't think I'm getting many more marks soon. So I figure I'll use them now. There we go. Nice little 15k magic XP drop. And that is the end of the Watchtower quest. Actually, I, uh, quite a bit longer quest than most. Four quest points coming in. 15.2k magic XP, as you saw. And that takes me up to 67 now. Speaking of uh, long and tedious quest, I think I'm going to go do underground pass now. Also another tip for this quest, and I guess just, you know, RuneScape in general, depending on how you want to utilize it. Uh, you need a lot of food for this one and you might end up going back to the bank. So instead I'm just going to buy a lot of Ceridoman brews because right now they're literally as cheap as like some of the best food to use. Like if you were deciding between this or sharks, as long as your HP isn't extremely low, this is going to be the way to go, especially in a scenario where you need that extra inventory space. So I will take some resources with me as well, just very few. And also little hint, anything that involves agility, bring a couple summer pies. They, uh, they raise your agility by five. They also are useful as in the form of food. So really, just uh all around joy that one are you kidding me i just so this is the most annoying part of the quest basically it's a five by five grid where each one of these has a chance to knock you in you just have to go through the fire and by trial and error figure it out so i tried right there right there right there and then up here and uh yeah basically i have a straight line very nice very nice <laughs> it kind of sucks because for every account this is different so if you ever have to come back through here again you know you're gonna have to remember it that one should be pretty easy to remember i'd imagine lucky me underground pass quest completed 3k agility 3k attack xp as well five quest points which is the bigger picture here and an i've been staff which i've kind of out leveled at this point but i guess uh you know nice to have shout out to slayer music but yeah, feeling good. 152 quest points overall. And I got a nice little list here. So let's see. Next on the list is Bone Voyage. But the bitch about this is... I, oh, I don't have 100 museum kudos, which is what I have to do now. So it's kind of the quest before the quest. Definitely not fun, but uh, it is what it is. So I just got my 103rd museum kudo. Basically, I didn't have to do all of the digging that I thought I'd have to do, thankfully. But... Uh, Talking to this guy, he gave me some XP lamps, my favorite, and I'm going to use them all on runecrafting. So that's 33 runecrafting. This is still 33, and this will be 34. That's the hard part behind the Bone Voyage quest. Now to go do the nine minute long quest. That's the end of the Bone Voyage quest. Junior Navigator. Feels good to be here. All right, take me off. So now I have unlocked Fossil Island, which is a new island, old school RuneScape. There's some useful stuff. Mostly what I'm going to be looking for are these uh, birdhouse runs that you can do on the island, which are very useful. There are also some crabs up along here that are the upgraded version of the sand crab. So I'm going to be going over here whenever I need to AFK. Going to do what I can to kind of clean up the place. And you don't necessarily have a lot of teleports on the stick site pendant until you uh, search around the place a little bit. So I'm going to do that. So after using my dig site pendant down here on this strange machine, I can now teleport right here and then using this magic mush tree, quite the name, I can teleport myself around the island. However, I still have to find my way around the island. Fairy tale part one being completed as we speak. That is two quest points. More importantly, 3.5k farming XP and you know, some other XP, but that will get us up to 22 farming which is a nice little boost i was looking at other quests i could do but none of them look all too fun so i might stay away with that we also get the magic second chores that are right here these will improve my herb running yield so once i get more into this probably closer to around 40 or so that will be decent then i haven't done my birdhouse runs yet and now is a good time i'm gonna go do that here we go let's 
empty it. Let's see, I haven't tried this low level, but seven, oh my god, that's insane. So 700 XP per birdhouse, which means I'm going to be getting like a level every run I do with these beginning ones. I didn't know that it was this good. I probably would have stopped by sooner. I definitely, uh, I guess I just didn't think about it. So 35 Hunter, uh, I, I have to do these up until like 40 or so, I think, and then I can move on. There's a lot of... I don't think I, I didn't put seeds in either one of them. If there's any tips so that I don't forget, let me know. Uh, you know, it could just be purely discipline, and uh, I'll, I'll try to improve. Definitely feeling the effects of the uh, nerfed bird nest. That's <laughs> one nest this whole inventory. Pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, knowing I get a level about every run is gonna make me a lot more incentivized to do this. There we go, and we did it. So basically, by just starting and getting halfway through Fairy Tale Part Two, you unlock access to the fairy rings, and so now I. Can can use them uh, you don't have to have the requirements as in regards to levels like I don't have the farming requirement at all but now I have access to the fairy ring so I'm just gonna call it quits there for that quest and uh, move on and talking to Arthur we will complete the Holy Grail quest this will get me two quest points and a decent bit of XP so 11k prayer and uh, 15k defense no levels to be seen two quest points so brings me up to 157 and i think that's where i'm going to be done questing for this video i can't really do anything else too extreme right now like i'm too far off from barrow's gloves i do have some quests that i do still need to do and i think the next session of questing that we do it will definitely put us over the top but for now gotta go do something afk i'm sure i'll mix in some range and probably some skilling as well i'd imagine but something to get me out of this questing grind it's it's been too long you know running my happy ass through another birdhouse run i did just a little bit of a uh, hunter when i went this was going to bed last night but then i was like this is this is killer so i tried some swamp lizards those weren't too quick i mean honestly if i'm gonna get almost a level or half a level every time i do one of these runs i'm just gonna get my hunter up through this i think so uh 40 hunter i can now set up three traps actually that's that's huge really all i have my eyes focused on at the moment are upgrading through these birdhouse ranks because at the beginning it's kind of quick and then there's a big gap between mahogany and the, the rest after that so trying to get my way up at 1361 total i think now i'm going to go afk sand crabs while i edit and do other stuff that prepares me for the day see if we can get a level we will see won't we? I'm just a man, ladies and gentlemen. I'm no machine. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get 78, but I sure as shit tried. I'm 33k away, but I got a class to go to. I gotta go get some groceries. The day's calling. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, though, of Free to Play 2 of Maine. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to see from me, anything you want to tell me, leave it in a comment down below. And if you want to see more as soon as it goes live, make sure to hit that subscribe. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, peace.